Hey, welcome back everybody. It's great to be with you. Uh, beautiful day out here. You can see baseball teams behind me. Uh, it's feeling like spring, uh, even though we're, we're in fall, but it's uh, just a beautiful day and we got, we got activities going on all around us. You can't see them right now, but I'm looking at women's softball going and there's women's lacrosse out there practicing and we have a women's soccer game getting ready to go. So pretty active out here today. It's just, uh, again, wonderful day on campus. Uh, this past weekend we had the Presidents Ball and it was really, really just a wonderful evening. Uh, it was outside under the tents with the tea lights and there was food and there was good music and dancing. Um, we had a really great turnout by the student body. Uh, they had like a red carpet that led you up to it and they, they kind of did the whole red carpet thing where they had like the backdrop with the big lighting and everybody had their photos taken on the red carpet. So it, it was just a, a really enjoyable evening. and. Uh, you know, next year, if you, had, if you didn't get to go, I hope next year you'll have a chance to, to be with us at it. Uh, uh, we just signed an articulation agreement uh, with Divine Mercy University. What that means is that we've we formed a, a relationship with them that's a little more direct uh, in terms of accepting our students and working out financial aid, scholarships, and those kinds of things. Uh, Divine Mercy University and the Institute for Psychological Sciences, I will tell you, in my opinion, is the premier graduate psychology program in the world. Uh, they are just outstanding. Uh, the, 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 the clinical program they have, uh, the doctoral program is just, I can't say enough about it. And our hope actually is to bring many of those graduates here to not only be able to work in a clinical practice that we might be involved with, uh, but also to be on our faculty here at the Abbey in our psychology department. So that's a great, a great day and just very exciting to, uh, to welcome Divine Mercy University as a, a, a true collaborative partner with Belmont Abbey. Uh, we also have First Things, uh, for those that aren't familiar with it, it's actually a magazine called First Things. Uh, we've been involved with them for, gosh, I'd say probably at least a decade at this point. And uh, I knew Father Newhouse who actually started it. Uh, just, it's a wonderful organization. It's actually the Institute for Religion and Public Life. Uh, but First Things is having their uh, executive retreat here and there's gonna be a lecture. Uh, Editor Rusty Reno is gonna be in town, uh, which is, again, kind of exciting. And this is all in conjunction with our Honors College. Dr. Joe Wysocki, uh, the Dean of the Honors College, has really led the way there and, and brought so many you know, wonderful programs to the college, including this one. So I'm looking forward to tomorrow night. I think they'll also be here maybe Saturday morning with some uh, activities as well. Uh, athletics is just continuing to excel. Women's volleyball had a great win against Converse. Uh, women's field hockey uh, defeated Lander. Um, men's wrestling was preseason ranked uh, third in the uh, Super Region 2. Uh, they had a great season last year and it looks like they're gonna be continuing in the same, same light this year. Uh, other sports that are just continue to be strong, men and women's golf, men's rugby, are just continue to have great seasons. And uh, we're hosting the Crusader Invitational Men and Women's Tennis. Uh, looking forward to that. As you know, we have just, I think in our conference, the premier tennis facility. We're also in the midst of finishing, hopefully raising money for what will be a, uh, a tennis pavilion. Uh, there's been a number of people who have been very kind and generous and who have felt you know, so strongly about creating the, the Mike and Bonnie Reedy Tennis Pavilion. Uh, we've raised about $1.2 million for that. Given construction costs and where everything are today, I mean, the numbers are just getting crazy in terms of escalation. So maybe closer to $2 million when we're all said and done trying to get that thing built. But we're really excited about it. It's a beautiful facility and we can't wait to have the pavilion to go along with it. Uh, Mike Solomon and all the coaches on the women's and men's side are just, uh, just wonderful examples and models for what Sport and Virtue is all about. They're in outstanding coaches in terms of you know, first class, world class tennis, uh, but they bring the rest of it uh, in terms of that formation and development of character and virtue. So I'm, I'm just so grateful to them and all the coaches that we have here who have just done such a wonderful job. And I guess finally, I just mentioned birthdays. Uh, to me, they're just so special because you know, I, I take seriously with, and with gratitude that uh, each of the people that have come to Belmont Abbey College were born. Uh, so birthday is just a, a great way of uh, celebrating a wonderful day uh, that they were born and that they are here and they are such an important part of this community making Belmont Abbey College such a wonderful place. 
And so I'm just grateful. And so, uh, you know, I think we just have four birthdays today. Uh, Chris Egan, who is in our college relations uh, uh, department, he is very active in raising money and funds for the college and the capital campaign. Uh, so we're very grateful to him because so much of what we're able to do here on campus has been made possible through his great work and his friendships that he's cultivated and developed and brought so many people who have not known the Abbey back to the Abbey or to, to know it for the first time. Uh, so I'm just grateful to him and wish him a happy birthday. Uh, Dr. Mary Imperato, uh, who is a political science assistant professor, uh, she has just been a whirlwind. I mean, she's been in, up in Washington, D.C. with our students. I think she's been out at various conferences just recently. Obviously, she's uh, an outstanding professor here, teacher here at the, uh, at the Abbey. Wish her a great day. Uh, Dr. Gina Noya is assistant professor of theology, and she's also our lead in bioethics. Uh, she's uh, been just wonderful like with our nursing program, as an example. She's ensured that all of the courses incorporate some aspect of you know, Catholic social teaching, Catholic ethics and morals uh, into those programs. And then finally, we have Ms. Kamal Soda, uh, who is a library reference assistant. Uh, Kamal is uh, just a wonderful person and so helpful. And whenever I'm over there, I'm just so happy to see her smiling face. So to those four, I just wish them a great, great day, a great birthday. And I hope that if you see them, you'll do the same. And uh, again, everything here just, just continuing to go just beautifully and uh, hope to see you on campus sometime soon. So until then, take care and God bless. Mm -hmm.